Oh, I'm sitting here with uh, Jack Sim. Uh, Jack Sim, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves and tell me what you're doing. Oh, basically I want to tell you that dirty toilet cause cancer and people don't know about it. Because when you go to the toilet and you smell other people's shit, you couldn't stand it. So they start smoking. So in China, all the people who are starting smoking in the toilet continue to smoke and eventually they get lung cancers. Yeah. Very serious problem in China and think in India as well. The problem about people's shit is that when you go to the toilet and you shit in the first six seconds, you feel it. You feel your own shit is very smelly. <laughs> but you forgive yourself and you don't feel it after that. Ah. But if there is somebody else's shit there, you smell it all the time. Yeah. And if so, if there's two pieces of shit there, you didn't smell your own shit, but you smell the other guys. So what happened? You start smoking. Yeah. And lots of people are smoking. So we have to solve the sanitation problem, not just because of the flies coming and spreading diarrhea, yeah. but we have to solve it because of cancer. That's another reason. Yes. Yeah. It's so important. That, that is very clear. That's very clear. Yes. So you're with the, the World Toilet Organization, is that correct? Yes, the World Toilet Organization, the other WTO, but the more active. The one. more active WTO. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what do you guys do? I mean, uh, I mean, what, what's your yeah? Tell a little bit about WTO. Well, you're here. You're here in Stockholm. Yeah, and, and uh, ten years ago, people don't talk about toilets no. in in the media because it was a taboo and very um, embarrassing. Yeah. So when we took the subject to the media, we make it so funny, like um, World Trade Organization, World Toilet Organization, it's very confusing, yeah. but everybody start laughing, yeah. and when they laugh, they listen. Exactly. Then we tell them the serious message, yeah. 2.6 billion people don't have toilets, yeah. and how does it feel if you don't have sanitary napkin, your fistula, children dying of diarrhea, all this message comes at a mood where they're listening because yeah. they were laughing before. Exactly. But if you talk serious at first, no, people no. don't listen. I really love that approach. Yeah. And so, and so what, what are your plans? Well, currently to, also... Uh, uh, any, any new media activities, any crazy stunts? Well, we have World Toilet Day on 19 November and 19 that's November. where everybody is very innovative. But one of the things we also want to say is that the charity model giving toilets to people doesn't work anymore yeah. because when you give how many can you give you 2.6 billion and the other is that the toilets that are given are not being maintained and after a while they are abandoned so it's almost a waste of money yeah so selling toilets to the poor making toilets sexy creating a status and really nice toilet. You yeah. have to be really, really nice and, and, and come be, together with bragging rights. And, and be proud of your toilet. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we are creating a media branding called yeah. Doors to Dreams. So every time you open the toilet, you, you see aspiration, you see your future, you see happy children going to school, graduation, yeah. you see uh, healthy grandparents, you see yourself working and earning more money and happy family and yeah. that's uh, what the toilet can do for you because it doesn't make you sick. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, well thank you very much for this interview and please do keep up the good work. Yeah. And hope you have a I'll great day. Tell week. more shit story in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Next year we'll do another shit story. Yes. Okay, thanks. Bye.